Yeah, it's bright. It's beautiful, sunny, clear, minus 36 degrees Celsius. <laughs> Canadian winter day. Yeah. However, we have finished the round earth. Yeah. And we did it literally in the nick of time. Oh, well, we had about a week, four days. Mm -hmm. We are very happy that we had the weather to finish this portion of our geothermal ram earth greenhouse. Mm -hmm. I kind of realized that we haven't kind of shown like a step-by-step -step of how to build a ram earth wall. Yeah, how to build these particular ram earth walls. Yeah, there's more than one way to do it. Uh, so we want to take the time to do a video. It might be two parts. Yeah. We're not sure. Yeah. Um, so if you've been following us, we're sorry for the redundancy, but we also want to be able to share the knowledge we've gained through this project. You've gained. We, you have too. That's true. Yeah. <clears throat> you know way more than you did before. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yes. So, and and I, this is the first time that James has ever done rammed earth. He comes from a construction background, but this is the first time that he's ever done rammed earth. And I think that he's done a pretty darn good job. And the man is a wealth of knowledge, so we would like to share that with you and anybody that's interested in rammed earth. Um, so we're going to put together a how to build a rammed earth wall yeah. by um, James. One of the one of the things that I actually struggled with when we intended on moving forward with this project was finding information about rammed earth. Yeah, yeah, different parts of the world it's it's more commonly used, but we do believe it's making a comeback. Uh, it's it's just a generational product. Yeah. So it's going to stand the test of time, uh, especially being that it's stabilized and we've used cement. It. But we'll go through these bits and pieces and, and how we chose to do it. Um, and all the benefits of it. Yeah, all the benefits. And the process that we kind of took and the journey we went on in order to get this get this this far mm -hmm. so yeah very excited for that and then we're also very excited to move on to the next portion of the project. yes we're hoping to have the greenhouse up and running by this summer and then gardening continuing on yeah it'll be ready to go this summer for yeah. sure but yeah um yeah still lots lots to do and um anyhow yeah if you're interested in and in sustainable building greenhouses uh growing your own food uh, all those kinds of things please subscribe to our channel we'd appreciate it and we hope that you enjoy this series the sun's nice yeah it is nice it's the first time we've had sun in a long time can't soak up that vitamin d <gasps> soak it up okay. it's happening we are about to dig the hole for our round earth greenhouse, our all year round round earth greenhouse that we're talking about forever. Okay. We've Beep. got the excavator on hand and this is happening. So right behind us where we're standing right now is where the greenhouse is going to go. And we are going to take you through the entire process of start to finish. It's going to be 44 feet by 30 feet. Huge. Yeah, so the hole is going to be a little bigger than that. And we're going to get that marked out. We've already got it pretty much marked out for where we're going. But we're going to put some reference lines down. So when we're digging, we know where to go. And that's, we're going to be starting on this beautiful spring day. It's yes. Totally, totally yeah. OK. Now what, babe? <laughs> it's a big hole. It's a big hole.
Is it gonna be scary? I don't know, you're doing it. Bar bender. Yep, and then. Oh! I don't like that. I'm gonna go with the 54. I'm gonna take it there. It doesn't have to be 100% accurate. And then I go like this. Takes the bar. Mm. You get a 90, 90 degree bend. Oh, that's cool. Super cool. Here you go, babe. Excellent. Pop. Get the yeah. hole. Yeah. So this is screaming. Go back and forth. And I leveled it out with top edge of the floor. Mm -hmm. This one, I think, sample two. You think it's gonna be better? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what we're doing is we're making sample blocks. Sample blocks for our rammed earth walls for our geothermal rammed earth greenhouse. We got small little formwork made up, just two by four width with plywood sides. And we're gonna ram it with the two by four, which you don't have, but you'll see that soon. Um, we have our mix done up, just a dry mix. So we've got our base mix, which consists of some silt, clay, three quarter inch gravel. And there's also bits of sand in there. So smaller aggregates, but that is a jar test, which separates all the different layers of soils. Yeah. So what it does is it gives you just a quick and dirty test of what's made up in your base mix. It's not terrible to have clay in it because the clay helps the pigment bind. And we're not making a concrete wall, we're making rammed earth. Mm -hmm. Clay is earth. More earth and materials, right? Anyhow, we're gonna do these three samples all with the same mix of base mix, sand ratio, and same percentage of color. And we're gonna have layers in these three. Okay, so what we're going to do is add small amounts of moisture into our mix. We have to shake it a whole bunch more. If we do that, you're better off to add it in small amounts because you don't want it to be too wet. And you want it to not crumble completely. You want it to break into equal parts.
Now we're going to see what it looks like. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. See that? That black is way too wet. But look how nice this one is. Very cool. Yeah. So they're all going to be sort of the same. <sighs> that one's got a little bit of a spoil in it. And you can see. Yeah, that's so wet. It's bleeding. Mm -hmm. Bad mix, James. There's the swell one. Whoa. Yeah, this is so wet that it actually pounded down into the bread. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Wow. That looks like my rendering. It sure does. Colors. Let's do a little B-roll of that right now. 2%. 1%, half%. Are you going to do another sample? Do you want me to? No, I'm just wondering maybe what you could do if you're not going to reuse these forms is you can just write. I haven't.